Well, it finally happened. We've moved out of our tiny little beach hut that has served us so, oh, so well for the past two months. And not only have I moved out, but I've gone ahead and collected all of my dinosaurs as well. We're pretty much cleared out, other than a few. <laughs> hey, we gotta, we can't leave this place unguarded. We gotta leave some friends here like Midnight the Sarko and our, uh, our long, our long chain of cannon fodder here. We got fodder, 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 big fodder and my hammy. The color of Miami, of course. Oh, and not to mention, I'm stuck on a rock here. Speaking of stuck, we got our Mega Shell on down here, who is still beached in the beach. He's just just chilling down there, beached in the beach. Uh, yep, <laughs> been beached ever since we summoned him. And these four guys over here, I'm still deciding whether these guys are coming back to base with us or not. But for now, they can live out here. But here we are at the new base. Isn't it just beautiful? And uh, <laughs> look what I just installed last night. I uh, I thought Roden deserves a, a bit of a, a place in the base, a little bit of a designated area. So I've gone ahead and done exactly that. I gave him this nice chunky spot up here. Uh, it kind of fits perfectly dead center in the middle of the base, above the base, technically. The only problem is without a jetpack, I don't really have a good way up there. Like I might need some extra elevators that can elevate me to go and get up to my prime rodent um but yeah i th thought that was really really cool i'll be real with you though the reason i went and did that the reason he's up there is because uh, we don't really have a lot of room <laughs> i thought we had a lot of space here but rodent's gonna take up half of it if i have him down here so i thought we'd tuck him up there out of the way by the way guys i just want to drop a quick apologies for the double upload that i missed can you believe it the first one was well obviously i addressed that yesterday that video was meant to go live the day before though that's the problem here so basically missed the first day because i want to finish up the base to reveal it to you guys yeah that was meant to be yesterday it was well no once but it was meant to be two days ago now it was yesterday oh my gosh i'm confusing myself but the second upload that i missed was purely a technical error i set the video to upload i went to bed everything was going to go smooth and then youtube hits me with an error saying hey by the way uh we're still checking that video for copyrightness guess what no copyrightness but youtube just doing youtube things and it just happened to be on the night that i wasn't there to see the upload complete uploading anyways apologies for that i'm okay i'm healthy family's healthy everyone's good everything is good now that we got that addressed, let's get into some chaos. If you're wondering where all my dinosaurs are currently, they are currently situated inside of this. Um, I left them in the soul terminal. It turns out we don't actually have a lot of dinosaurs, but we do have a chunk sitting over here waiting to be summoned. We have so many dinosaurs that we haven't yet summoned, like, like the drones. We actually got drones here, right? That can evolve. And I don't know why I never looked into this. We should have done this and these guys. And actually, this guy and and that we got a lot of you know what? Let me just let me just let me just kick today off by clicking a few buttons really quickly. Let's go and find a little spot we can keep these guys like over here on this little flat spot because I don't really know what we're going to be dealing with in a second. But like this. A tank, a level one tank. Supposedly these guys are quite tough as a matter of fact. I don't really know because I've never tested it out. Um, he's also stuck on the ground. Uh, oh, it requires drone fuel cells. Okay, it needs some fuel to... Okay, that's, that's fair enough then. We've also got... I don't even know how... These aren't all summoners, I know that. Use this artifact to gain a Mark 1 version 3. Cool. But these here are a little different, I'm pretty sure. We've got a Mark... Place in the inventory of your... Oh, I just consume... I just... I just ate a drone... Of, okay, I don't know how that works, but we just ate a piece of something. Um, But we're meant to, like, place these in the inventory of stuff and then it's meant to like evolve but i think it already oh no it did it just evolved i get mixed up though between the versions and the marks and all of that stuff anyways i think this guy here just evolved up into like a level two i don't know if we can then give it like oh wait i can oh it evolved again okay okay and then i can do it again i'm pretty sure too can i can you mark two version one Oh, I think he... Did he consume it? I actually have no idea. But anyways, we've got this thing now. And I have no idea what that means. But we've got it. We've got it. That, that, that's all I can really tell you. Uh, I don't know if these guys are meant to be like super duper powerful or anything like that. But we've, 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 got, we've got a little drone now. We've also got a Magmasaur. Um, I do remember summoning one of these last time I played the mod. It's a summoner that was dropped by something... But I can't for the life of me remember... 
sure don't fall out of this base, please. All right, good. Good. It also looks super special. I don't know if it's had an altered... Oh, yeah, that's what a normal one looks like. Wait, I want your little weird cracks and stuff back. That looks so cool. It looks so cool when you had all the weird stuff going on there. Yeah, look at him. He looks like a Super Saiyan Magmasaur. He's like super powered. Can he still drop? Great. Oh, he needs like fuel and stuff, don't he? That's how these guys work. I'm pretty sure. Oh, still do that. I don't know if we should do that. Then you, okay, well, yeah, cool. That was pretty, that was pretty effective. Nice work there, buddy. And then the other one we've got here is, I think another, okay, it's an enforcer. I thought this was going to be the same thing that the tank was. Um, oh, I wonder if you, you could help me. <laughs> he could be like my little ticket up to Roden up there. Cause I'm pretty sure I was going to say. These guys can, like, run up walls. They can teleport and all that fun stuff. Honestly, kind of fitting of the theme of this uh, this entire base. So, you know what? You can have this little parking spot over here, right? You can park right here inside this little spot here. And then I'll be honest with you, mate. Probably never going to get used again. That's literally you're just the guardian of the door. That's, that's your job. Good luck with it. But what are we going to be doing today, you're probably wondering. And I'm glad you're wondering it because I realized something. We obviously got ourselves a Mega Rex a couple days ago. We obviously leveled him up, maxed him out yesterday because we didn't do it properly the first time around. We never tested him out. I want to go and see what he can do against some bosses because the next stage in this mod is essentially uh, fighting Titans with this guy. Or at least... This will be one of the guys I'm fighting Titans with. Also, I'm going to rename you really quickly because it's confusing the living daylights out of me. I am going to call you exactly what you are, Mega Rex. Except he's our Mega Rob because he's our Mega Rob. What, 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 I don't need to give any more meaning to it. He is Mega Rob. That's all there is to it. Now, pretty sure he's maxed out now. He's got all 151 levels. He's got a maxed out saddle. You know what he's missing? Or rather, we're missing. We're missing some potions. We pretty much used all of our potions while fighting bosses over the last few days. So we need to go and restock our supply. Now, thankfully, we've got a lot of stuff in this base that can help us with that. So I'm just going to hop straight into here. And I've actually got potions somewhere. I just don't know what I've done with them. So I'm going to have to go look for those. But, uh, gee, I left all my artifacts at the... Oh, man. Oh, man. That's going to oh, that's gonna be a pain in the backside to get over here. I... All my artifacts are at the whole base. I forgot about that. I have an idea. And it involves this little thing right here. Look, I need a way to get up to my road and up there. So I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to try and put together a little bit of a jump pad. I got no idea how this thing works. I've never really used it a whole lot. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I want the force up. Up to 100%, obviously. Pitch it. Uh, oh, gosh. I don't even know how to point this thing in the right direction. Pitch it down. Pitch it, okay, right, pitch it down, and then rotate. Oh, down my sights. Oh, okay, I want to launch you directly forward. So jump pad, down sights, pitch up, 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 or down, down, down. Okay, I guess. Now, with that launch, no, that's a little bit too low. Let's pitch it a little bit further down. All right, I reckon that's the spot. Let's see if this gets us up to Roden. Um, okay. <laughs> Good start, but not quite there. In fact, maybe I should... Actually, can this thing even go past 100%? Because it wouldn't surprise me if it can't. Jump pad, force up to... No! Wait, toggle to size big. Is that going to work? Nope. Oh, it did get me a little bit of extra distance, but not quite enough. All right, I think we're going to have to do it like this instead then. I'm going to activate it. Jump pad settings. Pitch it. Okay, like that, I guess. Down the sides. Pitch down, 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 down. How does that... Yeah, that's going to get us up there. If this doesn't get us up there, then I don't know what is. Power this baby up. And you know what? Let's pitch it up one more. Pitch it down one more, technically. All right, bam. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Ronin base. You're allowed to come down into the base now. You're allowed to step down from your perch and fill up this entire region down here. Why have I just hopped off of you? You might be wondering. Well, Mega Rob, I want you. Um, who wants to be on my shoulder for today's adventure? I think a Kairuku will be perfect if I can find one in all of this. But we've got some giant wings. I'm going to have to crawl my way under Roden wings to get to this guy. Doesn't matter what level it is. Okay, Roden's wings are going to launch me out of the way. That's annoying. I should just pick it up. That's what we should do. We're going to place a corruption crystal on it. 
And okay, now's that chance. And oh, I didn't even Whoa! Okay. I don't know what just went down, but something sure did. I just wanted my little shoulder pad on my shoulder. Now let's get going. Oh my gosh, I don't even know if Roden can leave the base. Oh my gosh, all we've done is built a giant cage for Roden. <laughs> um, Roden, mate. I kind of thought you'd be able to fit through this. Yep, there we go. Okay, good. Fantastic. Nice. Oh. <gasps> Hello. How you doing there, mate? Oh, I wasn't meant to roar. But what I was meant to do was... This, there's a gold dreaded on right in front of us. Oh gosh, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Either ways, it's dead and we got some health potions. <laughs> Not the way we were intending to, but we got them anyways. Now, uh, what I was meant to do was go kill some stuff, but instead, I think I'm just going to come down here and pick our other stuff up, or at least some of them, enough to get some potions, and uh, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll go do some killing. Hey, I forgot I stashed all this up here. Oh, this is all of this. Okay, so all of this is meant to be in here, and I completely forgot about it. Uh, I basically just put it over there, and I used this inventory as, like, my in-between... I was just trying to transfer items as, like, efficiently as possible. Even a lot of this stuff isn't actually meant to be over here now that I think about it. Um, anyways, we had a bunch of health potions in there. I guess I didn't need to craft many of the... We, look, at least we can craft up some extras now. And, and oh, we got this as well. We've got the little the little parasaur thing. This is what I was looking for yesterday. So now, I might just place this one down here. Store chibi. There's our little pair of parasaurs. I need to, I need to, to rotate. And uh, wait, I need you to bro I need you to rotate. There we go. There's our little para parasaurs. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we didn't have a rock golem one elsewhere either. We might. I might have just overlooked it. But I, yeah, I found that one there as well. Not to mention, I don't know if I've got a Dodecurus anywhere. So now we've got that there. Oh my gosh, it's like a beautiful one too. Oh, he's adorable. But while we are over here, and this isn't something that crossed my mind until right this second. I surely have a Rex Chibi here somewhere, right? Are you... No, that's Giga. Um, Allosaurus, Raptor. Like, we we must have a Rex Chibi. It can power up our Rex. I never thought of it. Maybe I don't have one yet. Maybe I've just never gotten one. But surely a T-Rex has to be, like, one of the most common Chibis you can find. I need one for my Mega Rex to get an extra 10% damage out of it. Yeah, that's Giga. That's what I thought. You can have your Giga back. Triceratops, mole rats, scorpions. We literally have everything but a T-Rex. I can't believe that. Maybe maybe there just isn't a Rex Chibi. I'm actually not sure. Huh, that's actually really disappointing. Well, either ways, let's get... Well, let's use these little artifacts for something, hey? Um, I think we're gonna need one of those. One of those, you know what? That'll do it. All right, that's probably enough. We also got these cooked ones that we can bring with us just in case we need them as well. And I think as for everything else, I don't really need it right this second. All that's left for us to do is hop on the back of this guy here, fly out to some dinosaurs we want to kill, and then kill them. Well, at least, well, yeah, like I said, this is still meant to be a big old test for our mega. And that's exactly what I intend for it to be. So if we're going to test out the true strength of our Mega Rex, I feel like we've got to fight some worthy contenders. Sooner or later, and when I say sooner, well, you know what, sooner rather than later, we are going to be fighting Titans. And uh, that's surprising. We actually had four or five Titan bosses in the world just earlier today. So I don't know where they all went. Well, technically I do. They despawn every 45 minutes. But we need to test this guy against some worthwhile opponents. So why not throw our Mega Rex straight at another Mega Rex? Or a Mega Reaper? Or a Mega Dodo Rex? Not a Mega Dinopithecus though, because that would probably kill us. I honestly want to see how strong my Mega Rex is against a wild Mega Rex. And that is exactly what I intend to do. We're going to go Mega Rex v Mega Rex. Find out who the most superior Mega Rex in all of the Mega Rexian lands is. And I already know the answer to it. It's going to be me. That's all there is to it. Also, on a side note, I learned what this guy's C attack finally does. Okay, look at this. It slows down dinosaurs. You can slow... You know how much that would have helped me? So many times we ended up in like do or die situations. And it didn't cross my mind to just press C and slow them. Well, mostly because I didn't really know how to do it. I didn't know that that's what it did. But now that I do, it's a bit of a game changer. Anyways, what's, oh man, there's a lot of loot up in that bag. And now there's a lot of loot down in this bag. And now there's a lot of loot on the floor because I'm dropping it all. 
<gasps> we got an unstable kibble though. That's cool. Might even use it today. Or we can use it against some titans. I never thought of doing that. Using an unstable kibble to power up your mega Rex against the titans. It's so smart the more I think about it. Anyways. Get down there, my friend. There we go. Uh, Roden. In your little bowl you get, friend. And all that's left for us to do is to face this mega fella down here. I have no idea how this is going to go, just for the record. I'm a little bit worried about it, to be honest, which is... But, hey, look, if we stay positive, you never know. Should I unstable kibble this guy? Should we, should we do that? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Now, I'm going to get dismounted, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there it is. Then I'm going to remount. Or at least I'm going to try to. Right it. There we go. We're now extra strong and extra big. I think all that's left for me to do now is to get down there. Oh, I should have just summoned in a... Should have just summoned in some stuff. Have I got my armor on? Armor is on. Pig me on my shoulder. Health potions not yet active, but they will be in a second. Oh, I've kind of overshot the target. Let's go. Let's go, old Mega Rex, mate. Oh, we destroyed you too. All right. Oh, gosh. My guy's not even full health. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Not even full health. All right. Bit of a bit of a bit of a blunder there. He also doesn't take fire damage. But I did stun him, apparently. Oh, I can stun him? Uh, only once. Only once. It didn't let me stun him again. Oh, my God. I'm going to sweep him. I'm going to sweep the guy. There's nothing he can do. <laughs> what? Um, okay, my Mega Rex is a lot stronger than I thought he was because I did not expect us to come out of that pretty much untouched. We oh, Spider X summoning artifact. Sweet. A rocket launcher. Any artifacts by any chance? 1800 elements. Nice. I could make do with those. And pretty much a bunch of... It's honestly just a lot of, a lot of junk. I don't need a lot of this stuff. I was hoping for some cool stuff, but we didn't get much cool stuff. All right, what else we got in the... Oh, Mega Hellovus. I forgot we never fought one of those. Also, I should probably go and get a day... Oh, he's right here too. Oh, I've never killed one of these. All right, hold on a second. Hold on a second. No, this is this is going to be special. Hold your horses. We're going to the new base. We're going to... Well, it's not even the new base. We're going to the base. It's just called... We gotta stop calling it the new base. Because right now it's just the current base. There is there is nothing new about it. We're moved in. This is the base. That's all that's all that's all it is now. <laughs> but the reason I'm over here is for this. I you know what, for one, can demonstrate now what this does. Deposit. We deposited all of our items. Or at least most of them. The ones that it allows me to deposit. I oh, I should really dedicate one of these to nukes. Let's do that. Mini nuke. Then, I'm pretty sure my nukes are over here. Let's just pick them all up and deposit them straight in there. Nice. Get the rest of them and deposit them in there. But the reason we're here is I need a Deodon head. I need, I need, how do I, how do I even get a Deodon head? I don't know how to do this. Deodon prime head. We've got one. I'll take it. And then I'm pretty sure I need a brain of some sort, but I don't know what brain we need. So let's quickly refer to the little book here. And I'll show you guys what I'm actually thinking and doing. A Deodon Prime. To get one of these, you need a Zom Dodo Prime brain. Okay, who's got my Zom Dodo Prime brains? I feel like they might be in here. I know I've got brains. Apex Zom Dodo brains, Mega Zom Wyvern brains. And I must have some brains up there somewhere because there definitely ain't got any in my head. But basically, I think what we want to do... Here we go. We got a lot of them. <laughs> 48 of them, as you do. We want to go and kill a Mega Hellovus. Once it's dead, place these two items in its inventory and the Mega Hellovus will summon us, I think, our very own Prime Deodod. A dinosaur we do not have yet. So, I'm interested in seeing this happen. It's, it's a weird... It's a weird summoning technique, but it's one that I'm very intrigued uh, in, in, in experiencing. So, Mega Hellovus. But, oh, gosh. Oh, that's uh, this might be a bad idea, actually. He's got extra... He got... Mm, I don't know if I like this. He's got them extra fast, extra HP regeneration, extra targeting range. For those of you who don't know, yeah, I know, he's not, he doesn't have a lot of health. But once he gets about halfway down, it's like so hard to kill this guy. They, they have so much health. 
I just saw a wyvern fall out of the sky over there, by the way. Interesting. Either ways, uh, this... I, look, you know what? Let's get some minions in here to help us out. Let's send them to their death on our behalf. I should have three of them. I don't know where the... Th oh, third one's stuck in the mountain, apparently. Uh, just to demonstrate what the Mega Hellovis is all about, that's what he's about. Let's see how we go against him, though. As you can see, I am not dealing much damage to him right this second. He's also got, like, superpower mode, and he's enormous. So that's a thing. I'm going to drop some health potions because we are going to be in a spot of bother in a second. We just need to keep on hitting, though, because... Oh, gosh, where are you going? Oh, no, no. He's actually winning this battle, just for the record. He's down to 70,000 health, though. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere, mate. Get back here, please. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you yet. I'm not... Oh, he's actually... He's actually annihilating me. He's actually annihilating me. Maybe he can't attack us as well. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. Oh! Okay, then. Okay. I'm pretty sure killing him just summoned in a Titan Manticore for the record. <laughs> what? That's something I wasn't... Okay, we're lucky I didn't attack like one too many times. But we killed it anyways. He got us really low on health. I don't know if you saw how low my health got. But he got really, really low. Uh, really quick. Oh my gosh. He actually hooked us up with the loot, man. 15 nukes. Or did I just forget to deposit them? I don't even know. But anyways, primes on dodo brains. I just need to access this dude's inventory. Which... Titan Manticore can shoot. Man, can you not? How do I get inside of this guy? Maybe we're not meant to be in the water. This is... I'm doing this right, aren't I? Or have I gone about this the complete wrong way? Right, I'm actually a little nervous now. Um, oh, my pygmy popped off my shoulder. Hold on a second. Buddy, what are you doing swimming down here? All right, come back, please. Let me just revisit my book very quickly because maybe I'd misread something. Maybe we've gone about this the complete wrong way. Prime Apex Primal. That's a new tab. I haven't seen that one before. We're going to read that in just a second. But let's have a look. Uh, place the below requirements inside the dead Mega Hell Sheep. A summoning artifact will be created within that inventory to acquire the non ancient Prime variant kill. And yep, yep. Oh, and to wait, what? Oh, wait, what's a Meg? Loot the Mega Wyvern. Or is there a loot Mega Wyvern? Are they two separate things? I don't even know if I'm reading that correctly. Regardless, though, um, yeah, no, this is what we're meant to be doing. We're meant to be placing the items inside of this guy. Except, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't access him. I can't access the goofball. Mate, I've got some items for you. I would like you to take my items. Do you not want my items? I'm like double tapping F non-stop, which is why my pygmy keeps falling off my shoulder. Come back here, little guy. Um, yeah, I guess you can't. I don't know what to say on the matter. I don't know what's up with this guy, but he don't want my stuff. I wonder if I can... Hmm. All right, let me try one other thing. Pull the inventory. I'm going to give you these two items because they're the ones I need to transfer. Can I... Uh, oh, that's the wrong item. I want to pull my scanner out. Valid source. No, I just... Yep, there we go. Okay. And I want to place the two items inside of you. Can I place them inside of you? No, we can't do that. All right. Well, there you go. Okay. We're not getting the day done. I don't know what went wrong, but something obviously did. <laughs> Regardless, though, we've got a bunch of heads. We've got nukes. We've got some summoners. Is there anything here, though, that I didn't have in the first place? Like, I, 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 hmm. I don't know if he dropped anything, like, too fancy, to be honest with you. Yeah. He dropped us a giant Titan Manticore. That's about it. And he nearly killed me as well. Let's not forget that. All right. I don't like the fact we're out here in the deep ocean. So let's just head back to land for a second. Guys, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know if you've been following a long... Oh my gosh. This attack grounds dinosaurs too? Well, the Tyrannodons just got dragged to the ground when I did that. The more you know, I suppose. Anyways, as I was saying, this guy is what we're going to be up against next. The Titan tier of dinosaurs. And one of them is, of course, the Manticore. There's a Broodmother. There's a Dragon. There's a giant Eel. There's Rodan. There's also Titan Rodan. We've got a few Titans we're going to be working through. <gasps> Mega Shadow Mane! Oh, gosh. I actually don't know. I don't know much about Mega Shadow Mane, but so far... Well, I'm, I'm drunk. I didn't even... I didn't even... Where did you even come from? Hold on a second, guys. 
Which I'm just lucky he can't ground us. I didn't expect. Okay, that's really lucky. That's really lucky. In case you don't know, Mega Shadow Mains dismount you from your dinosaurs. I didn't even see him sneak up on us until he hit us for five. Yeah. Who is? <gasps> I forgot. That's right. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I know we did this. We literally did this two episodes ago. Um, one second though. I forgot. I I almost dismounted my Rex there for a second too before we killed this beast. Get out of here, you're... Speaking of this beast, actually, I still got to summon my own in. That is a thing I can do. I just keep forgetting. I really don't feel comfortable right now with how low my my guy here's health is. I really shouldn't be just casually uh, keeping it like that. If he's not healing, or is this taking a long time to heal? All right, I need you to die. And I need you to die, like, now, please. I need you gone. I need you out of here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for involving yourself in my day. But it wasn't really, it wasn't really wanted. Now, did you drop anything for me? You got anything for me, mate? You got anything for me? Nothing? Nothing? Did you drop me nothing? I guess he drops me the opportunity to team up one of those giant gigas. But anyways, the gig gave me metal. One of these, a griffin. If it was a T-Rex, that would have been fantastic. But unfortunately, it was not. And it got me a pygmy. Lucky me. I don't, I don't have many pygmies. Ah. Uh, Hello? Who are you? What do you all want? What is with everything attacking me right now? What are you... Can you leave me alone, weird Gorgon thing? All right, I found the strategy for this bugger. You just run away from him. You run away and eventually teleports right in front of your face. And then you just give him a little nibble and he's not ready for it. Oh, and then he summons it. There we go, he's dead. <laughs> About time. About time. Now... I'm pretty sure we're safe enough to go and have a look at what we got through here. We got a gun, a gun, a... Thank you, Drop Karachi. Okay, then. Element, element, element. Another corruption. Wait, what? Okay, then. I guess I need to pay more attention to Shadow Mains. I just got two corruption crystals out of that. Two of them. Two of the buggers. You mean this whole time I could have just I could have just angered Shadow Mains or at least attacked them or something and they would have Really? I'm so confused. I did not know that was a thing. This is the guy I'm interested in. I keep seeing him fall out of the sky and then fly back up and then fall out of the sky and fly back up and I, I don't really know what's going on there, but now he's fine, I think. I'd love to get him down here for a fight, but he doesn't seem too interested. Oh, I see you, little bugger. I see you, little friend. I see you there, matey. Hiya! <laughs> little prime bee sitting on top of the water. You think you're hiding from me, mate? <gasps> Look who it is. I should not be down here right now. I need to get it back above land. There is a Mega King Kong down here with us. Why am I even down here in the first place? I don't know. Um, but if I can get back on land. Oh man, these these ice this ice is an issue for like all the megas. All right, I really gotta get this guy healed up. And I assume the reason he don't heal up so well is because he's got a million health. Which, you know what, gives me the... F yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's let's have a look at how he, how he feels about this one. I've never fought one of these guys close up, so... I should probably be careful, right? <laughs> I should probably be very careful. But, you know me. Not a very careful person. What can I say? Killed an alpha mammoth just then. The guy's... Well, you know what? As long as he's not summoning his little army of little minions, I'm happy. Also... Titan Man's Core, in case you're wondering, has nearly 12 million health, just for the record. Just in case you're wondering. And uh, little Mega Dude down here, he really don't have much hope at all. He's just he's just chilling there in the water, getting his <laughs> absolute butt whooped. Bam! See you later, mate. Just, I'll just have you know, you might be the easiest Mega King on that I've ever fought. Just, you know, that might make you feel a little bit better. Um, And I am kind of stuck in the... No, we're good. We're out. Nice. Either way, that Mega Kong barely fought back. I don't know what his problem was, but I guess he just... I guess he just didn't feel like fighting today or something. I don't know. I'm trying to get this, this Wyvern down, though. I want to fight him. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I think I actually... Did I actually hit him just then? 
Oh my gosh, I did. <laughs> what? Okay, I didn't actually expect to hit this guy in a grim, but all right, we finally get our wish to fight the Mega Wyvern. I didn't even know if he came down here to fight us, to be honest, but he came down anyways. Uh, for some reason, I'm dealing a lot less damage than what we were dealing. Don't know how I feel about that. Okay, he just teleported away from us. No worries. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be fighting this if that's the case because he's gonna summon onto me. Yeah, I shouldn't be doing this. Even if we do get the kill, which we will, he's not gonna kill us. He's gonna summon in the zombie. Well, actually, no, the zombie wyvern doesn't summon in ain't aggroed, so we should we should be fine. Uh, regardless, he's he's kicking he's kicking my butt, big time. Like dangerously, as a matter of fact, we should be fine. We just gotta. You know what? Just stay there, mate. Just stay there. Right there. That was good. That was good. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I don't know why he stopped flying, but I'm glad he did because uh, I was in a bit of a spotter bother there for a second. Cool. So what did we learn today? You might be wondering. Well, I'm pretty, I'm pretty convinced now that Omega Rex here is the strongest creature we have. The strongest creature we'll need. I'm pretty sure we're pretty much untouchable against Megas now. I think tomorrow we may very well be fighting our very first Titan Dinosaur. I don't know who it's going to be. I might need to even summon one in of my own. I don't know if we start with the Manticore or something else, but either ways, I think... I, I, I don't know what else there is to do to gear up any further. So, yeah, Titan fights tomorrow. Get in. It's going to be crazy. My life is going to be on the line and I'm a little bit nervous about it.